Hey, has -beens. <clears throat> It's morning 28 on this adventure. And um, whew, I thought about uh, pulling the ripcord on this whole thing last night. At about 9 or 10 o'clock at night, I thought I'd have to pull the ripcord. And uh, I'm overjoyed to say that I did not have to pull the ripcord. So that is what I'm going to talk about today. Easy day in preparation for the tempo run tomorrow. Uh, four miles, easy. Um, uh, spoiler alert, I did it in 30 minutes and 51 seconds. So that's about 7.43 pace. And yeah, I did um, four times 100 meter stride. Same thing as every other week, six minutes, 5.45, 5.30, 5.15. And that hot spot that I've been talking about the, a little bit the last week or so has matured and sort of concentrated itself around my left ankle, especially the front and bottom of it. And it was causing quite a bit of discomfort after the run yesterday. Um, I wasn't limping or anything like that, but it was definitely very noticeable, even when I was sitting down stationary. But I would especially notice it after I'd gotten up to walk around or something like that. <clears throat> and so I iced it like crazy. Iced it yesterday morning. Brought an ice pack with me to work. Iced it at work a whole bunch of times whenever I could. And I remembered it, iced it a whole bunch last night, and right around 9, 10 o'clock last night, right, right around when I was going to go to bed, I thought, you know, I don't feel good right now. If I get up in the morning and I feel like this, I don't think I'm going to make it to 31 days, I think. I think I'm going to end up missing a day, which isn't the end of the world, but it's not... Uh, Definitely not the right foot. Definitely not the foot you want to start off on, especially when you put together a carefully designed plan that was sort of designed to under-train you. It was designed to not make it easy, because it was. it's not designed to be easy, but it was designed to, you know, set myself up for success. Three miles a day, four miles a day on most days, only two workouts a week, no long runs over seven or eight miles. I mean, you know, this is not uh, this is not an impossible task. And I was afraid that my near 32-year-old body was going to betray me and tell me that I had to take things even slower. Woke up this morning, got up, run to the restroom, and... It didn't really bother me at all. Um, got ready, and it didn't really bother me at all. And got to the gym, and it didn't really bother me at all. And while I was running, it did not really bother me at all. And I ended up um, having a really good run. Um, definitely my fastest easy run yet. Unofficial heart rate at the end was, uh, what, about 145-ish unofficially. And uh, did my strides, felt good, felt more upright, felt like I was running closer to like a midfoot striker as opposed to a heel tower. Maybe that was my issue. Maybe I was putting the brakes on a little bit, landing on my heels, and that was causing some extra stress. It's difficult, you know, when you're, when you're not really lean, it's difficult to do that midfoot striking. Um, you know, 180 or 190 pounds coming down on the, on the front side of your foot is a lot more force than 140 or 150 pounds. So um, lots of times it has more to do with physics than it does with ability um, when it comes to, to your foot strike. So as the weight comes down, you know, that, that form is going to improve just naturally. But <clears throat> I'm kind of at that stage right now where you're kind of riding the line where you're where you're some, somewhere, you know, some days you're a wolverine and you're just going to put your head down and you're just going to plow through. Um, you don't care. Um, or what do they say? Honey badger. You're just a honey badger. Um, you don't give an F. Uh, you're just going to plow in. You're going to attack and you're going to do what you got to do regardless of what happens. And then other times you're a, 
you're a prairie dog. You, you got your head poking out of the hole and you're looking for for every sign of danger and every little rustle in the woods or or you know every little every little sound is a, is a predator that's you know uh, that's ready to devour you uh, with a moment's notice. So yeah, I'm definitely riding that line. Um, last night I was a prairie dog and by the end of, uh, by the end of mile one today, I felt much more like a wolverine. So, um, you know, I think it's, uh, important when you get to this stage as you're trying to develop your fitness that you really just try and act with a certain level of maturity, not to freak out every time you get a little, a little pain or a little discomfort here or there. Um, not to try to overreact, but to have some patience and, you know, treat it as best you can and then act accordingly. I mean, if I woke up this morning, I was prepared to do a video where I was riding the bike or maybe I was on an elliptical or maybe I was just doing core and I would still do a video like this because I got to be held accountable. But, um, you know, it wouldn't be running, which was sort of the first goal was to run every day in January. So, um, luckily the streak continues did not trip at the finish line. Uh, I'm coming off the last turn into the home straight and I can see the finish line and I'm still feeling pretty strong. Tomorrow I got a three mile tempo, two mile warm up, two mile cool down, just like every other Wednesday's been. So hoping to keep that pace at or below where it was last week and keep the effort at or below where it was last week. And um, yeah, finish out this week strong and set myself up for uh, a really successful February, which is extra long because of the leap year this year. So I got an extra day to train. Yeehaw. Um, yeah. So exciting stuff for me, at least. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope that your running is going very well. And uh, we will see you all tomorrow.